Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about uh, some DFM uh, settings and rules that you can have for, for pad entry and exit. So when I'm routing, so if I go to the add connect command for example, and I'm routing this connection, I have some, some default options that can kind of control how I exit from this pad. Um, there's a right mass, right mass button, something called enhanced pad entry. So if I was to disable this, um, what I can do is I, it does actually give me the ability to, to exit out of this pad however I want. Um, and obviously the disadvantage of that is I've made a manufacturing issue, I've, I've created a sliver here, but I've also got a, an acute angle coming out of the pad, so probably not the best thing to do. So if we just kind of undo those local two commands, if I enable the enhanced pad entry, what this does is it kind of stops me, me, me from exiting the pad uh, an illegal location. So you can see it's kind of just snapping back to, to where the legal location is. But. So that's kind of a, a toggle switch when I'm routing. Um, there is a user preference to kind of enable that or disable that. So if we go to setup, user preferences, and then if we look under the route and the connect menu, there's something called uh, options. So no enhanced pad entry. So we can enable that and then that would uh, always be turned off by default. Now, if you did have this turned off by default, there's, there is actually a DRC check we can run on the design. So if we go to setup, uh, constraint modes, there's an option here for, for design options for acute angle detection. Um, so we can enable all of these, so let's just turn all of these on. There's also an option here to decide which angle you want to use for line to line, line to shape, line to pad, and shape edge to shape edge. If we apply that, that would then effectively give me a DRC check or a default DRC check. That would then start to indicate where maybe I've, I've got some of these where I, I'm actually creating a a small manufacturing issue where I'm not quite meeting the design rules and then you would obviously with a DRC check then you can start to kind of slide tracks around to to, to break or to, to clear the DRC error and stop you getting those clear errors in the first place.